Decks usually fall far short of their potential, and it boils down to details. I want to show you a handful of details that will make your deck structurally stronger, last longer, and also look a whole lot better. When I build a deck, I expect it to last for 50 years, and that's why I start with a permanent frost-proof foundation. I'm not a big fan of deck blocks that sit on top of the soil. I go right down below the frost line with concrete piers. This is fiber reinforced concrete. It's got two pieces of rebar in it. And sitting on top is this hot dipped galvanized post saddle. Some post saddles are just electroplated and some are even bare steel. They're gonna rust like crazy and they're not gonna last. This stuff goes the distance. Another important structural feature is strategically placed double joists, like these here. These happen to be in the corner. I also have them in other places in the deck, wherever deck boards end. The double joists allow me to space the ends of the boards apart for better drainage and less chance of rot, and they also let me move the deck screws or deck fasteners further away from the ends of the boards, so there's much less chance of splitting. Aesthetics are another important part of deck design for me, and I want to show you a couple of things. Um, this post, uh, it extends right down encased in concrete to give it strength, but the top is decorated with a kind of pyramid design. Uh, I did this on a, a 15 degree angle, 15 degrees from square, using a, a circular saw to make all four cuts around the outside, and then clean up those cuts with an 80 grit belt in a handheld belt sander. There's some stopped chamfers here as well. Now, whenever possible, I really recommend putting a roof on a deck, which I guess, strictly speaking, turns it into a veranda. But this veranda has been really useful to us in lots of ways. It enhances the deck, it helps the deck finish to last longer, it protects the windows, keeps driving rain away from doors. And in order to create a roof structure like this easily, I used this beam system. They're four two by eights, they're bolted together. The reason I did that was because it was very easy for me to create the necessary mortises in that structure for the tenons that I made in the tops of the posts to fit in with them. You see, these two pieces of two by eight here stop where, the, where it meets the tenon on the post, while these outer ones extend past the post and rest on a shoulder that I've cut at the bottom of the tenons on the top of the posts. And the whole thing bolts together. It's very strong. It's easy for one person to put up because you're only dealing with small pieces of wood. And it looks great too.